Hey guys, Debarshi here and in this video I'm going to cover some of the deployments that went live today. Uh, so we have deployed global instructor functionality. So initially uh, till today the instructor for version 2 was local to a membership but now we have made it global. So if you come here and go to instructors, you will see all the different instructors that are available here. Okay, And uh, these are at a global level. So let's try to create a new instructor and see. Split this. Create. So my instructor got created here. Now I can use it at uh, when I'm creating a course. So let's create a course. So this is test course. And from here, uh, this is the instructor that I created. And this uh, here, I can also select multiple instructors of, for the course. And in whatever sequence I select, if I select uh, this one first and the other one second, in this sequence, it will appear on the course canvas. So I've selected the instructor and we have added this while creating the course. Okay, so we don't have to go into any <clears throat> complicated setting inside the course to find out the instructor. We have just added it right when we are creating the course because um, most of the courses will have instructors. So when you are creating the course, you can just assign the instructor there. Okay, and then I will save this. Okay, so this course is created. Now I'm going to add it to a membership. Add course from library. Oh, uh, that course is created, but it's not uh, published yet. So that's why I'm not able to see that course. So I'm going. I'm going back to courses and see it is in draft mode so I have to publish it <laughs> before I could add it into a membership so I just published it I'm going back to the membership add course from library now the course has appeared here I'll select this course and this course got added yeah, I want this course to be in the front, so just changed it. So now if I see the membership website URL, I'll see this course got added. Now in order to view the instructors, I have to, I have to log in as admin. So now when I log in as admin and then the instructors are always visible in the lesson in this template. So when I go to the lesson, you see the instructors are available here. The only problem that I'm seeing here is that the sequence is not correct. Yeah, so there is some issue with the sequence. It looks like the instructor that we created uh, the at first is appearing first in the sequence. Yeah, so we are going to get this sequence fixed, but this is how the instructors will work now. Uh, you can create instructors globally and then you can assign it to any course. So if I go to any other course, let's say, let's take an example of this course. I can just simply assign an instructor here okay and uh, we used to have instructors before inside the membership 
now we have removed uh, the instructor option from within the membership so if i go inside the membership and manage settings we used to have instructor option here so now it's not there anymore okay so that's all about global instructors now the next update is hide access type so yeah this is a cool update so we have been uh, wanting to implement this for a long time uh, so hide access type basically enables you gives you the option to hide a specific um, lesson or a specific chapter or module in an access type so basically if you have a course and you want to add an entire mod uh, hide an entire module you can do that that module simply will not appear uh, in your um, this thing uh, in your members uh, the, your stream so let's go and test that so yeah let me add outline let me add one more module to it and let me rename it to module 2 okay so <clears throat> this got added now let's go to a membership in this membership we already have the course added here let's just verify that yeah we have the course added here and let's see if we have any members assigned to it or not we have one member assigned to it okay and let's see its access type okay it's given test al1 and test 2 so let's let's remove one access type from here let's remove test 2 and save it so test al1 that is the access type now i'll go and manage access levels sorry i was saying access type that is the access level Okay, and here in test, test AL1, I will add the new course <coughs> here. And for the module 2, I will use the hide access type here, which basically hides the entire thing. Or let's do this. Let's hide this uh, chapter. Okay, so... We will have uh, module 2 accessible, only the lesson under the module 2 will be accessible, but the chapter will be hidden. So I'll save this. Okay, so now test AL1 has this course and the member, this is the member. All right, so now let's test this. I'm going to resend the login credentials. so i signed in to the membership i have access to the course and now if i go inside the course yeah there is something wrong all right so we'll get this tested so basically hide access type is not working okay so now let's move on to the next testing which is delete hierarchy flow so initially what we had was uh, let's go to courses and initially if i deleted something inside a course let's say i am here inside a course and if i deleted a lesson here initially it used to stay right there okay it didn't used to get deleted so right now what we have done we have improved the user experience so if we delete a lesson from here I will go to the upper uh, next one which is I will be my screen will be redirected to the chapter okay so what was happening initially was if I had if I delete anything I, that screen of that specific whether it is lesson or chapter or module would be there transiently and then if I switch then after switching only it used to go away now we have improved that and finally let's uh, let's check out this final fix which is password reset link so 
let me just log out from here do forgot password so reset link has been sent so let's go and check my if i click this let's see what happens okay i have to open it in incognito yeah it takes me to the password reset link which works which is working fine all right so that's all about the updates um there are two issues that we found in this testing and i'm going to get those resolved but other than that everything looks fine all right so i'm creating this second video to uh, show you the bug fixes so let's first talk about the access level hide access level so we are uh, here in this test may 31 um, 31 course and then uh, here in module 3 i have made this lesson hidden all right so now this access level is added to my um, email and i have logged in to uh, <laughs> to the membership with my email and now let's access this course when I access this course we have module 1 module 2 and module 3 in module 3 I can't see this lesson anymore it is hidden okay and I can see the chapter because the chapter is instant so now let's try to make it instant and save it okay So now we have made this instant and we have saved it. Now let's refresh this. And now you can see the lesson back here inside module three. So this proves that the higher access type is working fine. And the other thing was the issue with the ordering of the instructors. So let's go back and let's go to the courses and test may one this is the course and the instructor sequence is this is first and this is second so let's go inside this all right so we are already inside the test may 31 course and then we can see the instructors in the lesson segment and you see this is the first and this is the second so this is also resolved so uh, we are good with both these deployments. Thanks.